Well, a few people travel more than comedians. They're always, like we said, they're always in and out, mm -hmm. and especially this guy over here. A break from the ticket counter for this guy, Willie Farrell. He's still on the road, though, behind the wheel, I'm guessing. He yes. drove here, Omaha from Des Moines. Yeah, but he's a Midwest guy. He's a paisan. Right. He's, yes, my fa he's my favorite meatball. I know. <laughs> How are you? Wonderful time. I, I, I got to come back to the, uh, the, the fest again. Yeah, that's not the Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I loved it. You loved performed it. there a few years ago? Yes, I, years I did. Ago, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I also host the, uh, the Italian American Fest in uh, Des Moines for the last. Uh -huh. 15 years or so. Yeah, did you make friends fest. here when you were at the yes, festival? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Well, you know, it's funny. They, they were uh, people that uh, my family knew, and, and we, it's, you know, we just kind of like uh, reconnected. Uh-huh. What and, is uh, it? The Omaha people are the best. Hey, what do you think it is about the Italians? Like when an Italian yeah. meets another Italian, it's it's, about it. all yeah. of a sudden you had family here. That exactly. You didn't know about. And then, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's just, just one of those things. I, I'm sure every nationality has that kind of thing. Well, but I mean, not, hey, not like you know. we're the best. We don't. Well, yeah, I mean, come on. But uh, just, yeah, you just you connect like and it's like, you know, we would always get together and uh, have some pasta and meatballs yeah. we're, we're good to go. What do, you, a what, do you ever eat sauce from a jar? Uh, I'm going to say uh, no, but then I'm going to look at you after we're off stage. I'll say, yeah. <laughs> I've, done, I've done sauce from a jar. You know what you do is like a lot of times if you have people coming over that you don't really like that much, medicons. <laughs> You have a couple of medicons come you over. Give them the jar so sauce. you you put the, the jar sauce on, and, but you always you know you, you mess with it a little bit. You put some other stuff in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, die, you put some basil in there, yeah, maybe some oregano, yeah, whatever. Exactly. It gets on my case about yeah. it, but I'm uh, like that's I don't know how to make the real stuff. It's, and it's well, fast. you got to start Sunday morning early. Uh -huh. You get up early. You put the peppers. You what put you, the onions. You put the oil. It? It's called. What you, Zuka, what? we call it. Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. But, but he yeah. also said he got, when he doesn't, you know, he brings people over he doesn't like the Metagons. You know what that is, right? You know what that is? Yeah, what does that mean, though? American. American. That's like, right. Like we're not American. Yeah. Right? We're Italian. Right. Exactly. Like you weren't born in Omaha, no, Nebraska. Right. That's right. <laughs> American first. Like no, I, I the get it. You give it to them and they're just like, this is fantastic. Like, sure. <laughs> All right. Sure. Sure. Uh, you were here, mm -hmm. I looked it up, one year ago to the day you were on our show. Really? Yeah, really? Yes, wow. October 21st. I mean, I'll be talking. Um, in, in the last 12 months, yeah. what's yeah. been going on? What's new? I mean, it's just the same old, same old. It's, it's uh, I, I go to Vegas, I go to Atlantic City. Uh, I haven't done any cruises, so I got, got rid of those. But uh, <laughs> corporate stuff, just, you know. Yeah. My daughter turned 21, so I've been stalking her, make uh -huh. sure she's not doing anything wrong. Right. And uh, that's about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you been following? Have you been following the election at all? I mean, do you? You know, yes. I and I have. I don't do political stuff, but uh, there's a couple. I mean, I just. I did see a Facebook post on uh, yes. that you did about. Uh, I don't know. I, yeah. it's something political, but well, you didn't get political. No, I mean the thing. <laughs> the thing with Donald Trump and, and Hillary, and I'm not going to take one side or the other. But the thing with Donald said it was locker room talk. Who's got a 59-year-old guy in their locker room? <laughs> uh, you know, unless it's like a Canadian that's, football that's, team that has a punter. Or he owns the team. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, and uh, and the fact that he did it to impress Billy Bush. <laughs> what's he going to do to impress Putin? That's what scares me. <laughs> right. I mean, I'll push the button. I mean, I don't. Uh, it's just it's just gotten too. Uh, uh -huh. I don't know. It's I don't, crazy. It's, it is bizarre. It's crazy. I, I was watching one of the old debates between yeah. uh, whoever it was 30 years ago, and yeah. it was very oh. civil and very respectful. Exactly. They call each other Mister. Yeah. And, you know. Yeah. It's it, it's it's not Republicans Democrats. It's it's Bloods and Crips at this point. <laughs> it's, it's scary. I wish that were like far fetched, yeah. but it's hardly. I know. What what else? If you're not talking about politics on stage, what are you discussing? Well, I'm I'm talking about just just uh, turning 60 and and trying to wow. figure out how life's going and following yeah. my daughter around and mainly I talk about who's ever sitting in front of me uh -huh. we just uh what their life's about then we'll make it my life and we'll we'll have fun with I it. love so that how's life going to change now that you I mean are there any changes as you approach 60 uh just uh, yeah, every morning you just wake up and look at the ceiling if it's still there then I know I'm still alive that's about <laughs> you know I'm just old and I'm that's such just, a lie yeah. no, no it may be in terms of how long you've been on yes. this earth but Willie yeah. you carry yourself in a much more well, youthful manner that, than 60 I, you know I right? think I think that's the whole thing I think you've got to uh yeah it comes from within I'm just yeah as yeah. long as I still go to my class reunions, and I'll tell you why. Uh -huh. I'm not really fat or bald. You, you, that's the only reason you should, at my age, after 40 years, that you, as long as you're not fat or bald, you don't even have to be successful. Uh -huh. Just don't be fat or bald, and then you show up. Well, you look yeah. great. Yeah. I mean, you have gray hair, but aside well, from stylish. the gray, if you, uh, is it the olive oil? Is it's, it the olive oil? You know is what, that it's secret? the Italian, buddy. We'll it's stay the like olive this oil. forever. That's right. One of the things about you, Willie, that if I think people who are new to you yeah. and your story would find fascinating mm -hmm. is your upbringing. Yes, And we yes. always touch on this because yeah. it's so unlike what most of us experience. Yes, exactly. Yeah, my, my dad was uh, considered a... Uh, uh, did I tell you about the last time I went to Vegas and, and I saw my dad's picture in the uh, mom museum? You did not. No. I was with another uh, a girl comic, and it was funny because it wasn't planned. She said there's a big mob museum in uh, downtown Vegas. 
that Oscar Goodman, who used to be the mayor, his wife's the mayor now, but he used to be the lawyer yeah. for all the gang guys, he puts his mob museum. It's, it's huge. Yeah. So we're walking around, and there's people around us, and she's kind of joking. She goes, well, you're a tag. And she goes, do you know any of these people on the wall? And I went, yeah, there's my dad right there. And, oh, uh, my big, gosh. Yeah, kidding. No, no, I'm not kidding. I'll show you the picture. But your so. dad, he wasn't a mobster, but he... Well, well he was, yeah, he, he uh, answered a lot he of pay phones. Allegedly. Yep. He associated uh, yeah. with that. As right? Willie used to tell us, he answered a lot of pay phones. A lot of pay phones, and um, we never stood in line anywhere. So Al that's, uh, no, but Al Capone, he knew Al Capone, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. He yeah, worked, yeah. worked for Capone when he was a kid yeah. uh, at, the, at the hotel. Incredible. But, yeah, look, well, Willie's the nicest guy ever. Yes, I am. Back I'm in sweetheart. Omaha. Yeah. <laughs> that, it is true. That is true. That's why people like Colleen has been bringing you to town. Yes. Your, your fan base here is so strong. Mm. Uh, two shows tonight, two tomorrow, one on Sunday. Call or or log on to get tickets to see Willie Farrell. Great comics. We've got Chell and we've got uh, Nick Allen, the other two. Oh, uh, yes. Very, uh, Chell, Bajorgan, Norgan, Norgan. Listen, it's going to be a good weekend. <laughs> his, his dad was the chef on, on the Muppets. Oh. I think. Oh. And, uh, I and, uh, and Nick a, Allen. Like for These a guys second, are great. I was like, right. oh, that's great. Yeah. He's a chef. Such a good idiot. Thanks, Willie. Always a pleasure, guys. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, so Thank season you.